Hi Kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. Today we are doing an accuracy test review of this guy. This is the Seiko SRPE 51K1. Now this is not a full review. Uh, I've just been tracking the accuracy of this watch using the 4R36 movement by Seiko. And I want to show you guys what the results of uh, my accuracy tests are. Now this is uh, one of the newer Seikos that came out this year. Uh, I believe in March of 2020, they announced the new Seiko 5 Sports, which this guy is a part of. They are using their uh, in-house Seiko 4R36 movement, which has a day and a date, hacking hands, and uh, and also uh, you can also manually wind it. So without further ado, these are the results. And let me take you through it one at a time. Uh, we have here from Sunday to Sunday. I initially wanted to do it in one week, seven days, but we have eight days now and I will explain to you why in a bit. Uh, on this side, we have the deviation from standard time. And on this side is the difference between each days. Now, mind you, uh, I am not a, a scientist or a time measure expert or whatever. So I'm just doing this from my best knowledge. So on Sunday, so on Saturday, I set this up exactly to the second of the local time as according to Google here in Malaysia. And then every morning at 9 a.m., I check what is the deviation on the on the following day, pretty much. So on Saturday, I set this up exactly at the correct time to the second because the second hand does hack. So this is the difference. On Sunday, I had an overall deviation of plus two seconds from standard time. So that is a time difference of two seconds. The next morning at 9 a.m. on Monday, it dropped to negative three seconds to standard time which means that the time difference of negative uh, 5 seconds. Tuesday, it dropped another uh, 3 seconds, which gives you a total deviation of uh, 6 seconds. Now, on Wednesday, you can see that there is a little bit of a star here. This is because uh, there was a huge drop. It lost 37, 39 seconds that day, which meant it deviated from standard time to 45 seconds. Now, I called up my friend. Uh, Pro Nave and more, which is uh, the guy I bought this from. You can check it out on YouTube. He has his own channel. A uh, link in the description box down below. I asked him, why is there like a sudden drop in uh, in in time? In why did suddenly slow down? Was it did it get magnetized or whatever? Did I do something wrong? So after some troubleshooting, we realized that uh, the club the watch didn't wind enough. And since this is the first time I've owned a mechanical watch, I didn't know about this. Apparently, the four R thirty six movement. Uh, if you don't have it wound enough, either manually or automatically wound enough, it will lose a bit of time. So what my friend suggested is, uh, with all his Seiko watches, he would uh, manually wind it before bed 10 to 20 times or in the morning when he just wakes up. Now, that being said, on this day, from Tuesday to Wednesday, uh, I did not wear it that much. I wore it for like a couple of hours in, in a 12 hour period, which is not enough to uh, sufficiently wind this and as a result it kept on ticking there was enough power reserve for it to keep ticking but it did lose a substantial amount of time so i would put this more to user error which is why i have that star there which means i'm not particularly gonna count this i'm gonna omit this and that is why i added uh, an extra day in this test now uh, continuing on Thursday, I only lost 2 seconds. Now, between Wednesday and Thursday, I fully wound it and I made sure I wore it for pretty much the entire day. It was on my wrist doing everything I did around the house. So, as a result of that, from here, from Wednesday to Thursday, I only lost 2 seconds. Total deviation of 47 seconds. The following day, uh, funnily enough, as I kept manually winding it and wearing it the whole day, I lost 0 seconds. It may have been half a second, I don't know, but I lost zero seconds on that day and it maintained that 47 seconds deviation saturday it deviated a positive of five seconds so it actually caught up back to time and uh it, to send the time it was now only 42 seconds off but the next day i don't know why uh, that final day going to sunday it did lose a bit of time again uh, to negative eight seconds and it dropped to uh, 50 seconds uh, below st or slower 50 seconds behind standard time. There we go. So, omitting Wednesday, uh, we got an average of negative 1.5 seconds per day. That means throughout the whole week, this watch lost uh, 11 seconds once you omit Wednesday, with a highest positive deviation of plus 5 and the lowest deviation of negative 8 seconds. So, what did I learn from this? 
Well, I learned from this that um, the 4R36 movements, assuming that you sufficiently wind it or wear it enough for it to get enough charge, for it to get enough power, it's going to be pretty darn accurate to within 2 seconds per day. In this case, negative 1.5 1, seconds per day. Okay, there you go guys, just a little update on how it's going. I'm still uh, working on the full review of this guy. Uh, do let me know in the comment section if I miscalculated something or if I should have uh, included this in the final numbers. Okay guys, thank you and stay ready.